All right, uh, underneath the car now, getting a look at the track spec radiator uh, from the front. Uh, you can see that I'm not, this is just the track spec radiator. I'm not running air conditioning. So I don't have that AC cooler sitting in front of the radiator. Although it does have tabs to hold it in place. But the byproduct of that is that there's a pretty sizable gap right here. So you can see I can fit easily two fingers uh, between the radiator and this, <clears throat> this front shroud. So path, uh, the air is gonna take the path of least resistance, which means that it's gonna have a tendency to wanna flow out the sides and you'll get less airflow through the radiator if you don't close that up. Uh, so what I'm gonna work on now, uh, I'm just gonna use some, uh, some sheet aluminum and just get it bent up so that I can close this off and then uh, use some weather stripping on it to, to help make a good seal against the radiator so I don't have metal on metal rubbing. Uh, so that'll be the, uh, the last part here for this, uh, this radiator and oil cooler installation. All right, well, checking back in with you just to show what I'm, uh, what I'm doing here with these block off plates. I started off with a couple of blanks that I had trimmed down to about four inches by 17 inches. Uh, and then went ahead and uh, put a little bend. Uh, so I have a, about a one inch flange on there. That's the side that's gonna go up against the radiator. And then uh, um, and then essentially started to shape it, right? So because of the, the upper radiator plenum is at an angle, I just cut in a little bit of shape here uh, and eventually got it to fit. It was just a, a little bit of trial and error to get that right. Um, and then went ahead and measured and cut in a couple of little notches for my flange uh, that's that's all hanging off the front of the radiator so it sits nice and flush. Um, I just cut those in with a, a bench grinder actually so you can see they're not perfect but they work. Uh, anyway so that's my my template and I went ahead and just after I I did the passenger side traced my template onto um, uh, the sheet that'll go on the driver's side so I'm just going to trim this up on the bottom and the top to get my angle. Uh, then I'll go ahead and, and put my flange in down here. Um, I'm fortunate in that I got a screaming deal uh, several years ago on a shear and a break for my shop so I can cut sheet metal and bend it relatively quickly. You don't actually need that stuff though. You know, for cutting, you can do just fine with a set of sheet metal shears, an angle grinder, a jigsaw. Um, and then when you put in your angle, uh, one of the things you can do is just find a straight edge, you know, kind of like this one here, and uh, hang it over the side, and then just use a hammer um, to go ahead and knock it down. Uh, before I had this, I built two race cars and did a lot of sheet metal work without any shear and any break, just by doing exactly that, hammering it down. It works just fine. So, uh, so don't be intimidated. This is actually relatively easy work, even without the tools, although the tool, tools do make it a little bit nicer looking and a little bit easier to do. So... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this guy up and start to get him in place. I'll check back when, in with you as I get him mounted to the uh, radiator shroud. All right, well, back in here, you can see I've got my uh, block off plates in place. Um, really, all I did was uh, throw uh, a few rivets along the leading edge, which is enough to hold it in there. Um, and uh, on this side, I, I did not have to notch because the tabs for the AC cooler or condenser are actually a little bit farther out than they are on the passenger side. Uh, same thing over here though on the passenger side, a few rivets just holding it in the leading edge. Uh, the notches allow it to sit back in there. And uh, all I will do, I'm not gonna do it right now, but once I pull this guy uh, out to do a little bit more work on it when I do my air box modification, I'll throw a little bit of self-adhesive weather stripping on the back of these just to prevent the metal on metal contact at the radiator. So, uh, so that's it, relatively easy. Uh, just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of trimming to get it fit right.